right, Vic here. Just want to uh, give you a little backstory here on this buck right behind me. Here he is, my eight pointer from this is a 2014 buck. Wait, I got to add this into the video. My uncle Richard actually shot this deer. I got to add, he shot at this deer earlier in the season. I think it was like opening day, first weekend out. He shot at him with a single shot shotgun from like his m wife's father that he had some whatever shotgun he had, 16 gauge, single shot break action. He took a swing at this thing. I'm trying to find a picture for you guys. He hit a tree and then this deer just walked away, walked away. And then we'll get more into the, into the story here. I'm going to plug this in, edit it in, but he missed. So guess what? This guy don't miss. I actually was going to shoot a doe. The doe with the offspring was, I'm behind it. Here's a tree right here in front of me. I'm with my shotgun looking out this way, 20 yards. A doe and, and an offspring came running in. The offspring was standing directly behind, the offspring was directly behind the mother like this. And I didn't want to take the shot because it would have, it probably went through the mother and into the offspring and we're not into that business of wounding deer and doing all that jazz so when the offspring moved or the mother moved all of a sudden out of nowhere this guy over here comes running with his head straight out like a like a like a sneak looking position he came running right at me and he i I took a shot, boom, and it was a three-shot deal. I had my 20 gauge with just regular slugs, 1100. And what I did was I shot, and oh wait, wait, key information here. It was it was pouring, snow, rain, hail, sleet, messy weather. It was crazy. It was the last day of the season, last day of gun season, and I, we were filling some kind of a permit that day. That's where we're making drives. So it was raining. I said to my uncle, listen, what's going to happen here is rapid fire today. If it's not on the ground, dead as a doorknob, I'm just going to keep shooting if I can, if I get a clear shot. Now I'm running open sights, no scopes, semi-automatic, Remington 1100. This baby came running in, okay? I, I pulled the barrel of the gun over the tree, took the first shot, took the second shot, and the third shot. And after further review of the holes in this guy, the first shot was right on the button. Beautiful shot. Right through his front shoulder on him. Second shot grazed right over the back and on the top of his hide on his back there was a little fur missing. The third shot went right into his neck and put him right on the ground. And actually you can see right here, you can't really tell in the video but his I had a hard time when we mounted them just to kind of cover it up, but that's what got him. Didn't run no nowhere. But he's a beautiful guy. When they actually mounted this guy, they they thinned up his hair on his head. I, I was kind of upset about that. But he had the thickest. He had like a skull cap of just thick fur up here. He's a beautiful deer. Now, if you're comparing this guy and this guy. They're basically the same deer. I think they were at about the same age. I'm thinking he was a two and a half year old, and this guy was a three and a half year old. He was supposed to, the beetle guy was supposed to save the uh, the bottom jaw for me and clean it up, but he was so busy. I, I think he forgot or lost the thing. Who knows over there? It's not a problem at all. It's just we were going to keep it for informational, you know, for you guys or myself, just for common knowledge. Just something I was gonna start doing, but believe it or not, this guy is is gorgeous. He's beautiful. If I can find my tape measure here, let me get my tape. Here we go. Now watch. Fifteen. He's fifteen inches. This guy's ten. 
10 right on the right on the button look at that he's so symmetrical this guy you can't tell any angle he's gorgeous two and a half that's a three inch two two and a half about five four five five and a quarter four four and a quarter guy's awesome it was my best buck I ever did. Now, I'm going to show you down the line a couple videos talking ahead. I'm going to show you my father's 10-pointer. In our area, there's like two jeans running around. There's this guy, nice, high, wide, beautiful rack. Man, if he lived, imagine this thing being like a six-year-old deer. You'd be unbelievable. This guy over here, they have like a a wide like a panned out. Now my friend has a deer that was sort of in the same area and his buck almost looks like this dude. It's crazy. Now my father's deer, that was like 10 years before this guy, he's a 10 pointer. I'm gonna be showing you that. And he looks just almost the same. He's got this same pattern. It's crazy. See this little, that little claw right there, they look all the, they look neat, it, it's unbelievable, it's cool. I think the jeans in our area, we have we have like two different kind of jeans. And uh, it's kind of a neat thing to see. Um, so that's that story. It was, um, hold on. This is the, the shotgun that got this guy down. It was actually my father's Remington. 1100 open sights this baby's a rock star it's an awesome gun and i highly recommend it for anybody gorgeous two and three quarter 20 gauge semi-automatic this is a, a 70s model you know they're not very heavy they're, they're not lightweight either but they got a nice weight to them they and you can draw this thing up and a jiffy it just it just feels so good when you when you pull that thing up it's great it's a nice gun i i recommend it. if you ever have a chance to shoot one get one in your hands put a bird barrel on this thing we use it for rabbits or the slug barrel just smooth bore slugs cheapy slugs beautiful weapon I'm going to try to find a picture up I'll, I'll post a picture of me with this guy you can see I'm soaking wet it was awesome. It was a pretty easy deal. It was probably only about 10 seconds. Didn't really get much time to get excited. It was uh, literally 10 seconds. see that first shot there in that front shoulder you can't see the one in his uh, neck but you can see it right here you can see it you can barely see it in the hide but that's his uh, shot actually you might be able to see it right here see this there was a little mess up in his fur the two shots that's that one in his front shoulder it's pretty cool